He went from this to this, from nothing to £350 million. Pounds. David Gold, the boss of Ann Summers, is now one of Britain's greatest business successes, and he even co-owns his beloved West Ham, the team which once offered him a footballing apprenticeship. Wow. You know, this is your first foot on the rung of being a professional footballer. But astonishingly, David's dad refused to sign the forms for him to join West Ham. Um, he didn't want you to do better than him. I guess that could have been it. You know, I, I, I remember my mother uh, uh, saying that to me only a few years before she died. David grew up just down the road from the stadium. His father was a petty thief in and out of prison. So his mother had to raise her children alone. And as this was before the age of benefits, they were often starving. When the stallholder was put laying out his, um, his vegetables on the stall, he would all, you know, trim off all the bad bits and throw them on the ground and I should gather them up and take them home. With their father largely absent, David and his brother were at the mercy of a brutal uncle who beat and abused them. He beat me severely, cracked my ribs and, um, uh, and I still have a scar to this day. And I remember um, saying to my brother, you know, we're going to kill him. And I remember my brother saying, um, kill him, Dave? I ain't never killed anybody before. Many decades later, David amazingly agreed to support his uncle John financially. He did this out of love for his mother, who adored her stepbrother. She never found out the horrible truth. David was fiercely driven to better himself. He started off selling buttons on a stall in his front yard and moved upwards from there. Barely out of his teens, David opened his first ever shop, right here on John Adams Street, just round the corner from Charing Cross Station. He used his profits to expand, buying the tiny Anne Summers lingerie chain. As his daughter Jacqueline grew up, he brought her on board, and the two of them realised they could capitalise on the craze for Tupperware parties. Yes, there's a party going on at Mrs Betty Martin's house. It's a Tupperware party, and it's really fun. There's a demonstration by one of the Tupperware dealers who lives in your community. David and Jacqueline started hiring women to host Anne Summers parties, and it became the new craze. Now, with Jacqueline as chief executive, there are 150 Anne Summers stores, and David has some advice for budding entrepreneurs who fancy having a helicopter in their back garden. You have to, have to be on the pitch to score that goal. And if they have already got a small business, they are actually on the pitch. They've given themselves a chance. Um, and you have to have that perseverance. You have to have that determination. You have to, um, you know, there's no magic, no magic solution. Otherwise, you'd have nobody with one shop that all have 150 stores. My hand was the first one up when, when they said, who will work in the rain? Yeah, I'll work in the rain. I'll work Sundays. Um, and, and they're the kind of things that just gives you that extra opportunity. Despite his success, at 75, he's still working hard. After all, there's that small matter of a football club to resurrect. Glenn Goodman, London Tonight, Caterham.